Yeah, we have been here before. They have been at it. The picketing workers have been at it for 43 days now. As you mentioned, though, the head of the union, the very union leaders, hope that that will soon change with a very possible resolution. Striking Boeing machinists will cast votes of a very different kind during election week with the decision whether to stay on the picket lines or return to work. It's very easy to see numbers on a piece of paper and make the wrong decision when you're not informed well enough. When the votes are cast on Monday, machinists will decide if they'll accept a 38% general wage increase over four years. It also includes a $12,000 ratification bonus, as well as improvements to the company's 401k contributions. On the picket lines, newer employees like Brandon Story said they're still undecided. It is lucrative, more lucrative than it has been, but there's still room for improvement. Yet for that reason, veteran workers like Stort Whiting say their answer is already no. We've had some 1% general wage increases in recent years, and we have a CEO that works for one year and gets a 45% increase right away. Despite that, union heads insist this could be the best that it gets, saying in part, quote, it is time for our members to lock in these gains and confidently declare victory. We believe asking members to stay on strike longer wouldn't be right. And Monday's vote comes about a week and a half after the previous vote, which saw 64% of workers vote down a proposal that would have given them a 35% pay hike over the next four years. So we'll see how it is on Monday. Coming to you live from Boeing Field this evening, Ryan Sims, Como News.